do, do my eyes deceive me or uh, what what are you doing here what you back I didn't think you would be back, but I'm happy that you you back because that means you're just as crazy as me. So <laughs> glad I'm not the only one. Best buddies. Hey, what's up? What's good? What's poppin'? It's your girl, Rachel Geronimo. Geronimo! Your go-to travel influencer for simple travel tips and tricks. You are in for a, for a tasty, tasty show because have you ever thought about traveling alone? Has traveling alone ever crossed your mind, but it's a little bit discomforting to think of. Have you ever thought of just even getting out of your comfort zone just to do something that you want to do alone for maybe a day? This video is definitely in your alleyway. Now I want to make a huge discretion. <laughs> I want to make a huge discretion before we get started because I know you, you haters out there are going to get a little bit skeptical. This video isn't particular, this video isn't particular, Particularly, partic particular, particular. This video ain't for everyone, all right, bitch. This video is not for everyone. Traveling alone is uncomfortable, and even thinking about traveling alone is uncomfortable. This is coming from my personal perspective as to why you should give it a shot. It's such a wonderful experience, and more people should definitely do it because it's something that is more common than you think. When you travel alone, you'd be surprised of how many solo travelers you get to meet. And you just meet a lot of people from different parts of the world. This video is geared towards people who have been contemplating about traveling alone and why you should do it. Now, I'm not saying traveling alone is for you. If you ever thought about it, I hope this video inspires you to just pack up your bags and just get out of there by yourself because you honestly honestly don't know what it's like until you do it. I've had my fair share of contemplating whether I should travel alone or not. And honestly guys, I, I, no hate, no hate, just appreciate. I prefer traveling alone, but today I'm giving you the pros and cons of why you should try traveling alone. Number one, you get to wake up at your own time and that's perfect, especially for those who love to stay in, for those who love to wake up early. If you are an early bird, you can get up at 5 a.m. and go on that super duper hike that you always wanted to do. Or if you're like me, maybe like 12 p.m. and just get things started easily going in my own flow so if you like to wake up your own time traveling alone is definitely a benefit to you you don't have to apply to anybody's time schedule but yourself you're not under the pressure of waking up at anybody else's time you know how stressful that is <laughs> like it gonna give you like some gray hair like damn like I gotta wake up at 3 a.m. some people don't like waking up the same time as you like to wake up so you get to wake up at any time that you want and that's definitely pro tip number one Number two, this is especially those who really don't have a great navigation system. You know what really irritates me the most is when someone in the group is really angry when nothing works out. Please tell me if you can relate to this. Have you ever been lost and you have that friend or a family member who keeps nagging in the background like, oh my God, we lost. We never got find a place. Where do we live? We don't know. I'm gonna go home. And they start storming up and go home. Does anybody else have that friend? Because I have that friend. I hate when that friend starts like what it sounds like that the charlie brown parents wah, 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 that's seriously what it sounds like i hate the feeling of being under pressure when i'm lost with other people like it's just it's not fun i don't like the negativity and i'm trying to stay away from that negativity please hail mary full of grace get away i don't want your funky energy that's the point of traveling like especially if you're in a foreign country that you've never been you're gonna end up getting lost so you have to be as calm as possible and that's why traveling alone when you get lost it's easy going for you and no one's stressing out but yourself and you get you, you just get mad at yourself and no one else is getting mad at you which is relieves a lot of pressure you just get lost in your own pace and you don't have the pressure of finding your locations on time getting lost is perfect for people who like traveling alone and that's definitely a pro number three you get to do whatever 
you want without someone rebuttaling whether they want to do it with you or not. If you want to go see some elephants, if you want to get see some babies, if you want to do a cooking class, you want to go swim with whales and your friend wants to do this, sometimes it just sucks when the person who you're with doesn't want to do the things that you want to do, you know? And some people are fine with that, some people are not, but you can't have the opportunity to do it by yourself when you travel alone. You can do whatever you want, so traveling alone is a benefit. Number four, traveling alone gives you the opportunity to meet people. You have new friends. Forcing yourself to meet strangers is definitely an uncomfortable feeling. You're in a new atmosphere. You just get the opportunity to meet other people who are traveling alone. For my experience, I've met a lot of solo travelers. You get to meet people from different cultural backgrounds. You put yourself out there just to meet these kinds of people that are from different parts of the world. And, and, and it's amazing. So traveling alone, it gives you the opportunity to meet these people. It forces you to do things that you've never done before and it forces you to be uncomfortable and being uncomfortable is perfect. Now these are the cons. Well, of course, I got a counter argument ready for you because I remember all my junior papers in high school, you always gotta add that counter argument for the people who are still skeptical whether or not they should travel alone. And I got you, you skeptical people. I'm also the same way. I have to know the pros and the cons. So these are my cons as why traveling alone isn't the best for everyone. Number one, of course, it's always safer to travel with other people. Duh, everybody knows said but you smart you're intellectual you know when your instincts come in when something isn't right like energy be funky like that like if you know the situation's wrong you know how to get yourself out of that situation when nothing really works out it's really good that you're able to depend on someone so if nothing seems like you better run you better get and run <laughs> Honestly, it's just safer to travel with people. Number two, and when it comes to traveling alone, you have to depend on paying everything by yourself. Everything that you pay for is full on from you, from your own pocket. The bill comes to you. And when you travel with other people, you get to split the bill. You get to make things a little bit more even. If you, especially when, when you want to order the same food or do the same activities. When you travel alone, you don't have that opportunity. It would be cheaper to travel with people, especially if they like to do the same thing as you, you can easily split the bill and that's completely fine. When, and when it comes to traveling alone, you have to depend on paying everything by yourself. But Hey, the people that you meet, maybe you can still split the bill. You can never put a price on a traveling experience, so you have to do it. So, you know, traveling alone is going to be either expensive or really budget friendly. Either way, you just can't put a price tag on it. Number three, when you're traveling alone, it's not easy for you to depend on people. When you're traveling with other people, you get to depend on them, especially if you're in need, if you need help. The accessibility of having someone to depend on is there. When you're traveling alone, you don't have that opportunity. You're independent when you're doing everything on your own. Number four, you are forced to be out of your comfort zone and that's not comfortable for a lot of people. You're not with anybody. You're not with your mama, you ain't with your papa, you ain't with your grandma, your nanny, your dog, you ain't with anybody. Just you, yourself, and you. Me, myself, and I. That's the point of travel. Like Things are not gonna be turned out as like lolly gandy. You're supposed to be uncomfortable. You're not supposed to know things. You're supposed to break down a lot of your comfort. Whew. I'm tired. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. Thank you so much for even staying for the whole video. Like, I don't even know why you stayed for the whole video. And watching me being crazy all up in your face. I'm so happy to be a resource for you for all your next travels and whatever journey that you have in mind. Guys, if I completely forgot anything in this video, please mention it to me so I can share your ideas with more people. Because, hey, let's build on each other because the whole point of life is to keep growing and building and connecting. And I love doing it with you y'all. I love building with you guys. So definitely share some ideas, tips, tricks, or anything that you thought that I forgot to mention. Please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you in the next video. Until then, safe travels. See you next time. A. Hey. Yeah.